children. I believe it's story time. A Christmas story for all of you at home sitting by the fireplace. This one is called The Brit Who Stole Christmas. <clears throat> Twas the evening before Christmas, and all through the apartment, not a being was clothed. They wore nothing but undergarments. The tree was crap, as were the decorations, but under the bush lie presents for donation. They may not have had money, they may not have had style, but the size of their hearts was the length of a mile. You see, the unwealthy duo would combine their dough to buy gifts for the poor, who had no place to go. Closer to morning, the clock talked and it ticked. Then, a sound from the chimney? Could it be St. Nick? His name was not Nick, and he sure wasn't a saint. He charged for the presents without any restraint. With gifts in sight and sweat on brow, he yelled out to all, My name is Simon Cow! He grabbed all the goodies, slurped down the cookies and milk, then out the window he went, without one ounce of guilt. Early in the morn, the two boys arose, only to see no presents down by their toes. I don't know why presents would be at their toes, but I'm running out of rhymes, so keep my business away from your nose. The boys began to sob just like two, crying out, Now the poor can't get their wishes! <laughs> Although a Christmas for the poor turned out foul. One Brit was made very happy. His name was Simon Cowell. The story is over. There is no moral lesson to be told, but... Who gives a crap? We all have presents to hold. <laughs> Thank you, children. Have a wonderful Christmas. Or you can leave.